What if I told you that there was a quarterback with the mobility of Kyler Murray? The fearlessness of Josh Allen. The arm talent of Aaron Rodgers. And the X Factor of Patrick Mahomes. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you BYU star quarterback Zach Wilson. Wilson constantly put together pro-level performances and still flashed signs of untapped potential during the 2020 season, transforming himself from a hardly talked about draft prospect into a consensus top end quarterback of the 2021 draft class. Zach Wilson is a lock to be a top three pick, most likely ending up on the Jets or the 49ers. So in this video, we will examine his most impressive performance, his University of Houston game, and his most difficult matchup, Coastal Carolina University, to pinpoint what makes this inevitable superstar so special. Wilson displays exceptional discipline and precision with his throwing fundamentals. He has crisp footwork in the pocket, holds the ball close to his chest for easy access, cleanly plants his feet towards his target, swings the ball back and bends his arm 90 degrees for a phenomenally quick release, and follows his hips through the throw to give his tight spiral an extra zing on its way directly into the arms of his receiver. This solid mechanical foundation coupled with superb study habits also allows Wilson to make jaw-dropping plays such as this one. Before the snap, he recognizes the defense is in man coverage, meaning his receiver at the top of the screen has a winnable one-on-one -on -one matchup with the corner. After the snap, he simply waits for the receiver to break inside the corner's trail technique, then immediately lasers a pass in between the underneath safety and the corner, hitting his target right between the numbers with velocity and stellar placement. That being said, it makes sense that Wilson ranked 4th for adjusted completion percentage, a metric that still rewards quarterbacks for accurate passes despite their receivers dropping the ball, which is exactly what happened on this play. And while we are on the subject, many people knock Wilson for BYU's cupcake schedule, but it is worth noting that this so-called advantage was mitigated by BYU's receiving core, which was not elite by any means. Wilson can also throw the ball with beautiful touch if the situation requires it. With the defense running the same man concept as the last play, Wilson sees his receiver on the top win his battle off the line of scrimmage. Despite the receiver hardly having a step on the corner, he lobs the ball to a spot in the back corner of the end zone in which only his receiver can get it. It is precisely these throws consisting of great mechanics, great anticipation, and great placement that earned Wilson the third best turnover worthy play rate, meaning only 1.2% of his plays are at risk of a turnover occurring. Now, you might be thinking that with such high efficiency and a 73.5 completion percentage, which is the seventh best of all time, Wilson doesn't take any risks. But that is simply not the case. In fact, he excels in the deep passing game thanks to his incredibly strong arm. Take this first down play against Coastal Carolina for example. First, he takes a deep drop to let the play thoroughly develop. Second, he waits for a chance to take a deep shot since he knows this situation specifically. A first down play in the third quarter only leading by one calls for it. Third, his physical gifts provide him enough arm strength to not only rifle this pass 60 yards downfield, but to also hit his receiver in the chest, perfectly explaining why he ranked third in the FBS for deep completion percentage at 56.6% when the average is only 34.6%. 
So yes, Wilson had an unbelievable completion percentage, but no, it was not only from high percentage throws, which makes his accomplishment all the more impressive. Another trend that play exposes though is the sheer dominance of the BYU offensive line, which has some scouts concerned about Wilson inevitably facing pressure in the NFL. In instances where he needed to escape the pocket, Wilson's raw athleticism and creative throwing motions are reminiscent of a Russell Wilson or Patrick Mahomes. With a free blitzer chasing him down, he extends the play until his receiver sits in a gap between defensive zones and jumps to rocket the ball to his target fully aware that he is about to get sandwiched. I will concede that there is not a large enough sample to pin him as someone who can or cannot cope with pressure, but given his commitment on this play, I can confidently say he is not intimidated by physicality. Even though his 59.72 adjusted completion percentage when under pressure is not boosting his draft stock, it is an element of his game that will largely be unknown until he suits up for an NFL team. Though, it does help that he tends to get rid of the ball decisively, averaging just 2.8 seconds between a snap and his throws. A huge positive omen in this department for Wilson and the team that lands him is that he makes great reads on zone runs and has top tier athleticism, which can hopefully translate to his pocket awareness and performance under pressure. With a chance to establish momentum early in this game on a crucial third down, Wilson runs this speed option play to perfection. As his right tackle goes directly to the second level and a linebacker trails his running back, he acts as if he wants to take the edge then cuts into the massive C-gap hole. To finish the playoff, he lowers his shoulder directly into the safety and trucks through him in a maneuver more closely emulating a running back than a quarterback. This goes to show that despite the extremely valid critiques that Wilson was protected tremendously by his linemen, there were still situations he encountered that simulated heavy pass rush, and he passed those tests with flying colors. The last item in Wilson's bag of tricks that isolates him as one of the best prospects in this class is his ability to adapt to progressive play schemes that require him to do unorthodox things. On this pivotal fourth down play, he shields the ball under his lineman and pretends to hand it off to both the fullback and running back, absolutely confusing the outside corner. His receiver then easily glides past the flat-footed corner and a heavily pressured Wilson lobs the ball up to give his target a chance to make the play. Realizing Wilson completely outplayed him, the corner commits pass interference, renewing BYU's downs from 4th to 1st. Mainly what this play says about Wilson is he is fully able to adjust to the rapidly changing offensive landscape of the NFL throughout his career, especially with his extremely versatile skill set. Additionally, the dedication to selling this play fake also shows he is extremely receptive to coaching. Honestly, after watching a ton of tape on Zach Wilson, I genuinely think he is a superstar in the making with the upside of Patrick Mahomes. He is tough as nails and willing to put it all on the line for his team. He can throw absolute dimes on a moment's notice. I mean, he even runs the same plays as Mahomes, and at that, plays that not many quarterbacks are capable of running. The franchise that drafts Wilson gets a day one starter with immense talent and unlimited upside. It is now up to that team, Zach Wilson, and fate to work out the rest of the details. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, help build our community by hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel for more NFL content, and turning on post notifications to be alerted anytime I upload. Let me know your thoughts on Zach Wilson in the comments and feel free to offer suggestions on how I can improve my content in the future. Take care and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.